This video is assisted by Once Football, the best software for video analysis with graphics like on television. Hi there, the season is back and all we fans are elated. New teams, jerseys, players and all new games of football. We will be experiencing some exciting fixtures and something that we can expect is the implementation of the back 3 system. We have seen teams play this versatile fluid system in recent seasons, making Storm at Chelsea by Antonio Conte, link in the description below. The back 3 has advantages in many ways. It is fluid in transitions and players can be overloaded in spaces easily. Industrious wing backs provides width to the setup and the attack can be used in versatile forms. During attack, the wing backs move up to provide the width, the defense line simultaneously pushes high to contain the oppositions. This provides playing triangle all over the pitch and lets the forwards exploit the spaces made by opposition fullbacks. It is advantageous to players like Thomas Muller who likes to find gaps. Wide forwards like Timo Warner and Nicolas Pepe at Arsenal would also perform positively, who are not natural wingers. In the defense, the wingbacks easily track back to form a solid 5-man defense line. The mid can drop down to form a second line of defense forming a solid central block, very tough to break down. We see such a defensive pattern in Sheffield United's game under Chris Wilder where the overlapping central backs add to the attack. Basham was a main man in that role and also fellow center back Jack O'Connell has joined him at times as well. Then the wing backs stuck in to assist the defense to add numbers. They were so good defensively, only conceding 39 goals in the whole season, only top 3 teams conceded less than them. We also see the structured build-up of leads under Bielsa through this system. Although they start with a 4-1-4-1, the centre-backs shifts wider, the defensive medio Calvin Phillips drops deep to assist the defence. Full-backs push higher up to help the midfield. One of the central midfielders occupy the number 10 position. Wide midfielders move higher up the pitch to form a 3-3-1-3. Wolves' Nuno is another advocate of 3 at the back system. They also start with a 3-5-2, prefers to defend deep and tries to block the midfield rather than high press. Their emphasis is more on counters. Adama Traore's 2 goal against Manchester City is a classic example of that. Another relatively young manager, Arteta, has transferred Arsenal with 3-4-3 system. Since using this system, Arsenal almost conceded half number of goals than they did before. They press systematically and changes the system accordingly. Since then, they have won the FA Cup and Community Shield. Managers like Lampard and Ole have also shifted to a three-man backline when needed. With so many managers feeling comfortable with the system, 3 at the back can be Premier League's most used system this season. 
If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, share with your friends and the gracious subscribe will really motivate us. Thank you for watching.